because the tire just exploded. It's like bang, like a gunshot. Hello and welcome. Uh, I'm back in Melbourne now after my trip to the UK. If you saw my last video, um, the Viking Superstar 10 didn't get fixed unfortunately, just ran out of time. Um, since posting the video though, I have had advice on how that, how that um, thread can be can be fixed um, without having to buy a new crank arm. So expect a follow up video in 2020 or so. Back in Melbourne, obviously keen to get back out on the, on the road bike on the Scott Solace. Um, so yeah, took it out on Beach Road today. Everything was going good, almost home, and bang! It was like deja vu, just like happened on the Viking. There was a massive bang, tire instantly deflated. But this time, instead of the tube bursting, it's actually the tire that burst. First time in 15 years riding that I've had a tire burst on me. I'm guessing I ran over something sharp, maybe a nail or some broken glass could have done that. So anyway, that was the end of my ride. And it got me thinking, what if I wasn't just around the corner from home? Uh, what if I couldn't, you know, call for a lift or an Uber and I had to fix it there and then? I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and patch this just with the tools and the and the materials that I had with me on the ride this morning. So let's let's give it a go. So this is everything I had with me. Pump, obviously. My snazzy high-tech uh, wallet containing five whole Australian dollars. From a cheap date. Cycling Victoria ride membership. Bank card. Also the contents of my uh, tool bottle. The park tube kit. So the glue, a patch, and the um, the abrasive kind of sandpapery stuff. What else? Uh, that's for a gas cylinder, and there's the there's the cylinder itself. Two tire levers, spare tube wrapped in gaffer tape. That might come in handy. And a multi-tool. It's time to get the hands dirty. Quick release. It's a through axle. So let's get the tire off. This is where the two two tire levers come in handy. I can see this is going to be a faff. There you go. Got the thing off. So I'm not gonna patch a tube that's got a massive gash in it. That's why we carry spares. So I always like to have a bit of gaffer tape. We may be able to use that later, but gaffer tape is useful for basically everything. What a mess. It's got a real, real tear in it. So there's no point putting a tube in while it's like this, because it's just gonna burst probably through we're gonna try and it's, um, it's called it's called a tire boot now you can buy them obviously I don't have one you've seen what I've got the classic is the money Aussie money is um, Aussie money is plastic so it's really strong it's not like uh, like American money or um, like euros which is just like paper I reckon this is this will do us so I've never done this before but the theory is the tire boot goes over without without interfering with the um, with the bead which has to hook onto the onto the rim so I reckon I reckon folding into thirds thanks Queenie okay let's stick this time there you go So we no longer have got daylight showing through here. So we'll um, get it back on the on the rim. See if we can't pump it up, get get minimal pressure in. We're not looking to uh, to kind of race or get any Strava PRs on this thing. Just want to limp home on it. I got a good feeling about this. This isn't a video on how to change a tube, by the way. It's just a bonus extra you're getting. In we go, in we go, in we go. And we start putting the bead on from the opposite end to the valve, so we end up at the valve. Just check the boot's still in place, which it is. Okay. Tire's on. So as I'm pumping this tire up, I'm thinking, gee, that's a very thin, thin tube. 
check the packet, the tube is for 18 to 25 mil tires. Back in the day, I used to ride 23s. Then I moved to 25s. Now I'm at 28, along with most of the rest of the road biking world. So these tubes are not not suitable. They don't they don't fill the carcass. So this video is about can I fix a tire, not can I keep the right spares with me. So I'm going to continue on with the right tube. We'll catch up again tomorrow and do some more pumping. All right, day two. <laughs> New tube purchased, 20 to 28 mil. That will do me. So we're back where we were. The tube's in. I've just put a bit bit of air in just to see how the um, see how it's looking. Yeah, you're focusing on that. Let's do some pumping. Obviously, I don't want to put too much air in because this is probably not going to. Well, it's certainly not nothing. Not going to be particularly stable. This is just about putting enough air in to get you get you home without screwing your rim. The tire's already screwed. Don't need to worry about damaging that. But you really don't want to damage damage the rim. All right. I reckon that's probably enough. We'll see if we can get the camera to focus on how the hole's looking at the minute. So I can see I can see the five dollar <laughs> I, I can see the colour of the five dollar note. Alright, let's give that a go. Real gentle ride, see if it holds up. I reckon that's enough that's enough air in the tire to ride on. And hopefully, hopefully not so much that it pushes the tube out. Let's try it on the bike. Well, I've been riding around for a few minutes now. The boot is still in place, so that's at 40 psi. I took a measurement just before I headed out. So I reckon if you're if you're gentle with your riding, you take it very steady, you could get home on this. So I'm going to say the five dollar boot worked a treat. Thanks a lot. Bye bye. Still hasn't blown. <laughs> <laughs>